नीतीश कुमार ब्रोक पार्टी लाइन सिदार जे डी प्रॉमिस लास्ट टाइम Never, I, 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 मैं फिर कभी दारू नहीं पीवा प्रॉमिस आई स्वेयर I'll never cheat again. I swear. Ram Mandir is very much a Savarna uh, fantasy. It's a Pakas project, and I was saying that you know, like a lot of people, like they should just enjoy it now because it will never be this good. I had no idea that within like you know a week, Gyan Bapi would like you know get activated. The court said that Hindus too, like other communities, have the right to practice religion without interference. Because otherwise, it was always very annoying when I went to a temple. Some Muslim or Christian or Sikh would come and start tickling my ear. Question is not like. is a maratha reservation kumbir the question is why are they so badly wanting it hmm. they didn't want it in the 80s ekna chindagi baad bahut acha mauka hai apna khud ka ek vote base banane ka maratha hoga dekhiye kyunki maratha voter jo hai traditionally wo matlab rural areas mein aur kahin pe bhi aap dekhoge to congress aur npc ke voters hain and that's what he says that shinde is trying to be next power a lot of that reserve anti reservation does come from a section of brahmins many of them young male and in engineering college they are like often very <laughs> welcome to chhota hafta now chhota hafta is but a small chhota version of a complete weekly podcast news laundry hafta the news laundry hafta is where you get the week's news what made the headlines what didn't make the headlines but the full version is available to subscribers only and i don't mean YouTube subscribers although YouTube subscribers are also very welcome we are very grateful to you but also to news laundry subscribers the paying subscribers who pay to keep news free so you can also become a paying subscriber by clicking the subscription link now what do you get if you're a paying subscriber you get access to all our paywall content all interviews podcasts and importantly you get access to a full unedited hafta where you not only get to hear the week's news but you get to hear the news laundry editors positions on matters you get to see their biases what are their prejudices it's an exercise in transparency while also informing you and we have a few quips and jokes and agreements and disagreements thrown in so listen to the full hafta subscribe to news laundry and pay to keep news free here we go angrez apna lagan aur news laundry apna hafta kabhi nahi chhodte welcome to another episode of hafta i have been missing from this podcast for the last two weeks so it is wonderful to be back that's the good news but the bad news is a mysterious virus has afflicted our city and no i'm not talking about the lack of spine in news professionals i'm talking about our wonderful colleagues manisha and uh, jeshri who are not well and in fact a lot of people in office i'm also not well sir also there's this uh, i'm i'm taking i'm on antibiotics mysterious flu going around <laughs> so i hope you stay clear of it but manisha still has valiantly decided to join us from home yes in the studio with me is raman kripal who is on antibiotics as well hello uh and joining me from their respective homes online are like i said manisha pande welcome manisha our wonderful colleague a correspondent who covers everything maratha pratik hi pratik hi and also joining us online uh, is our guest uh, ravi kant kisana welcome ravi kant hi hi thank you for having me so uh, i'll just introduce you to some of our uh, viewers and listeners who may not have heard you before uh, ravi kant is a professor Uh, he's a cultural studies professor he conducts research that explores the cross- crossroads of caste privilege structures and popular culture uh he goes under the moniker buffalo intellectual i'm sure many of you have seen buffalo intellectual on twitter uh but his real name is ravi kant uh and he uses twitter and instagram to critically examine savarna culture and his podcast is titled mind your buffalo uh, which you can get on the link below uh it's streaming on all platforms so welcome ravi kant so le- let's before we get into you know the three issues you want to discuss i just want to ask ravi kant up uh, your mind your buffalo what are the last few episodes you've done can you recommend some of the most spectacular ones that would uh, be most right so i think the one that i did uh which is the latest one actually uh is on the uh the bogus idea of india and like it kind of deals with the ram mandir thing and uh, one of the things that i was saying in that was that like this is going to be like like i made a dark joke and i had no idea that like now it's scary to make dark jokes because they become news uh, very quickly so i was making a joke about how uh, 
even like you know because ram mandir is very much a savarna fantasy it's a podcast project and i was saying that you know like a lot of people like they should just enjoy it now because it will never be this good because after this this becomes like a mcu project every 6 months there's a new release and you know say it's the same mm. plot like you know marvel movies every 6 months and it'll be diminishing returns this is the first one and enjoy this that's what i was saying i had no idea that within like you know a week gyan bapi would like you know get activated and like you know even so you thought that, that they let it run at least two months houseful before they yeah, opened yeah exactly exactly before, like, before they know, put out for the promo house. for the next release yeah 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 i was i was seeing very interestingly the response of gen z and it's been truly fascinating and uh, educational in a way because uh, they they've completely embraced this moment this is a generation which has grown up without any sort of a cultural memory of the upheavals of the 90s of 2002 um that whole era where like you know it was it was still very publicly contested for them this moment just becomes like hey i my religion is also cool why are you like sort of going against it so very uh, hopeful episode very uh, inspiring episode uh, like people listen to it they have tears so like that's the story well I, I, hopeful ka to pata nahi it seems very uh, pessimistic <laughs> but but uh, but i mean one thing i you know i sometimes I, i think about this as well i'd say it's not so much the generation that is to blame for this uh, because i mean even when i was young i did not know the intricacies of mandal you just regurgitated what you heard i mean when mandal happened it was 1990 right or 91 i was in probably class 11 or 12 i'm guessing um i wasn't even in college and if someone asked you are you pro reservation you was like no Mandal is bad. Mandal is bad. We didn't read papers. There was no social media. When Babri came down, I was in first year college. I got to know like two weeks later yeah, that something like this has happened. When we were having dinner at home, and a friend of mine had come from Faisalabad, and a big argument broke out. So I just want to like kind of I completely agree with you what you're saying about the discourse and how story gets built. With one key difference, like even when I was growing up, um, politics was not cool amongst young people. Mm-hmm. There was not a lot of cultural capital in investing in that. but that's been one big change for young people in the last 10 12 years where a part of their identity curation now becomes part of some kind of a political identity or cause that they want to kind of attach to their personality okay prateek now you tell me your state has had a lot of action but it doesn't get the kind of time on prime time can you explain the situation how powerful is this whole movement kulbi aur maratha matlab aisa pehle zamane bola jata hai ki jo log community mein se kheti kar rahe the wo kulbi rahe aur jo warriors jo ladne gaye wo phir maratha ho okay theek hai to maximum agar aap dekhoge to kulbi certificate jin logon ke paas hai wo vidarbh mein theek hai uske baad matlab aap samajh lo ki 80% wahan pe jo agar kulbi maratha likhte hain wo log us community ke log hai to unke paas kulbi certificates hai to bahut se logon ne jab tak mandal commission nahi aaya tha बहुत से लोगों ने अपने कुंबी सर्टिफिकेट को मराठा में बोले कि नहीं ये कुंबी का हटा के अपन इसको मराठा का ही वो करते हैं अब जब मंडल कमीशन आ गया तो उसके बाद जो लोग थे मतलब ठीक है बेनिफिट मिल रहे हैं तो उन्होंने उनका वापस सर्टिफिकेट वो कर दिया अब बात ये हुई है यहाँ पे गवर्नमेंट ने बोल दिया कि हमने आपकी सारी मांगे मांग ली है पहली बात तो सबसे पहले मांग उनकी थी कि पूरा उनको फुल रिजर्वेशन मिले मराठाओं का अलग जो कि पॉसिबल हो नहीं सकता था सॉरी दे वांटेड अ फुल रिजर्वेशन हां जैसे मराठा को अलग से भाई कि मराठा कम्युनिटी के अलग से रिजर्वेशन नॉट इंक्लूड इन द इंक्लूडेड ओबीसी सो बेसिकली अदर देन अदर देन द रेगुलर ओबीसी अ सेपरेट वन स्पेसिफिकली फॉर कुनबी ओबीसी हां सर सकट मतलब मराठी में उसको बोलते हैं मतलब फुल अपने कम्युनिटी के लिए देयर इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टेक बाय लोकमत एडिटर हु रोट इन द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ माय रिकमेंडेशन आल्सो ही सेज दैट Shinde has played a fast one on uh, Fadnavis on this. This is his take, and he says that uh, BJP was taken aback. It was Sh- Shinde, I mean, who was the CM, and uh, he thought that he needs to, uh, you know, galvanize his P- Marathas, uh, especially when the twenty twenty four elections are coming in. Hmm. So he quietly took this, and this is just not uh, possible. 
uh, this this uh, reservation is not going to be possible and he says that, that this is a deep rooted politics he said even if, even this Pol- uh, patel uh, you know when there was a lathi charge he picked fadnavis uh, he was blaming fadnavis he, was, he kept saying fadnavis fadnavis uh, you know uh, 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 that he is the one who instigated this lathi charge he is the one who ordered and he kept silent on shinde right now before we get into the next bit of the discussion which i want to you know talk about the whole hindu project and trying to subvert the reservation by the back door etc etc that is happening as we speak i'd like to remind everybody that we take no ads and uh, the last week i was blown away by the amount of ads on all the newspapers then the on on the day of ram janmabhoomi consecration I, i wasn't on hafta that week but i think manisha did a story on how ad rates went through mm-hmm. the roof that day so we must have noticed there were none here but that's because you depend on you and if you can't depend on you then independent media can't exist there is no democracy in the world any time which has existed without an independent media so you got to make sure you support independent media and pay to keep news free ravi two things that are happening simultaneously there is an accusation and if you could just set the context for that that this government is trying to eliminate reservation while making the sounds that we are pro reservation but why do you think that is because if they are politically smart that's not a smart thing to do as you would know like our political parties are not homogenous there is no homogeneity in that there are many different competing factions within all of them and political parties are often just like umbrellas of these many sub regional collections that are happening across and what the the aggregation is often not ideology it is caste because caste is the root to access of power so when, whether it is like you know in a in a in a political system where there's so much uh scarcity of every kind of political good from uh jobs to amenities and everything knowing somebody from your caste or community at a position of power is my access to that political good what we have seen is basically the shrinking of these large safety net uh state you know like you, small town india like if you if you go outside tier one tier two tier india your options are upsc state board railway exam banking and if nothing else works you start running in the field and hope that you get clear one of the crpf i whatever things all of those across the board everywhere is shrink so now the first panic is okay like if we have access to reservation we have access to public jobs somehow through that so there has been a low intensity increase across the board we saw this with the party the agitation in gujarat we saw this with the jats we saw we are seeing this with the marathas no so i uh, completely agree with ravikant in the sense that i don't think bjp would want to end reservation anytime soon or is even thinking of that uh, even anecdotally when you meet people the anti reservation person typically that staunch that you know reservation is bad you know it's anti merit it's a very small section of usually brahmin people this is not something that you will hear most people say even the upper caste it's only a small number of brahmins who will just say this and those are anyway a very minuscule electorally bjp doesn't have to pander to that sentiment and uh, they are anyway not going to go anywhere they are going to be with the bjp yeah like vivek agnihotri but, but i think what, what you do hear a lot is an angst around reservation in the sense that what you were talking about jats because while in academic discourse we look at reservation as correcting a historical wrong the popular discourse about reservation is very much access to a better life access to a government job and then if you really look at the larger picture of government jobs last year lok sabha the government put in a reply at lok sabha saying that there are 7.2 lakh permanent central government jobs over the last 8 years and they've received the government has received 22 crore applications yeah i saw that insane so i think yeah. even looking at reservation yeah fine even if you get reservation just what are we fighting for we're mm. fighting for something so small but then you can't blame these communities also I, mean, i kind of get the angst of all these communities wanting a pie of it because there seems to be nothing else working out 
Yeah, I, I mean, I get where it's coming from, but also I think what can't be ignored is that this angst comes from the more privileged caste. It's not like, you know, people from the Jatav community are their percentage of people who are employed is higher than the percentage of Jats who are employed. The point is that I think the unemployment is higher in the most backward of backward, but they don't have the swagger and the entitlement ki sala hame kaise job nahi mil raha bas muft mein itna ich milega for the full uncut podcast subscribe to news laundry and pay to keep news free the best way to listen to the hafta and indeed all our podcasts is through the news laundry app you can download the app by clicking on the links given in the show notes so do download our app and get the best podcast experience and also pay for news and support a new news media ecosystem that news laundry is trying to encourage where we are accountable to you because we run on contributions that you make we don't take government ads we don't take corporations ads so that news serves the public because when the public pays the public is served subscribe to news laundry click on the link in the show notes below and proudly say i pay to keep news free